welcome back to the Coco channel and to another Coco floor video. If you didn't know, I did create my own small business. Right now it is t-shirt company that hopefully will expand into other ventures. Um, but for right now I am designing and printing, pressing, packaging my own t-shirts. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And I have released two collections so far, which are the Mom Talk and the Halloween collection. Those are, um, were launched September 15th. It is now October 1st, and so why not launch three more? Shall we? Um, so today I am gonna share three new collections with you. I don't know why I have to show you what number. Um, I think I'm nervous again because it's always like the fear of, not rejection per se, but dislike, <laughs> failure. Um, so anyways, without further ado, let me get started on showing you my new collections for Coco Floor. So the first one that I wanna share with you is a Women of Faith collection. Um, this collection was really, really important to me. It's definitely the biggest one that I've made so far just because I have so many feelings. <laughs> Um, and I feel like none of this would be possible without my faith um, and the power of God and you know so many things um, if you are not a Christian or believer um, please stay tuned after this collection there are two more that have absolutely nothing to do with that um, so please uh, stay tuned um, so first shirt which is probably one of my favorites of the collection is this one um, it says he restores my soul sorry um, which is is from Psalm 13.3. Um, I really, really liked this, um, and I feel like I go through quite a bit in my life, and I always come back to this. Like anytime I have dark, deep thoughts, um, that I could, I just feel the darkness coming in. Like I can get, I'm brought back time and time again by God. So. Um, Love that one. I want to just let you guys know that most of the graphics from all collections are going to be a metallic foil finish. I feel like I've come into like what my style is going to be and a lot of people really appreciate it. I think we only had two in the last collection that were foiled and everybody absolutely loved the gold. So um, I brought some new colors in but so far we have another gold one. Um, and this one just says Faith Moves Mountains and it has like all kinds of really fun um, script writing and just little, you know what I mean, accents that I feel make the shirt. So um, I absolutely love this one. I really, really do. Next one is one of my favorites. Uh, this is on a maroon tee. This is kind of targeted towards fall. And so it says, just give me Jesus and pumpkin spice. Uh, I just love this one. And I just, I don't know, I love the mix of script and print. Uh, I feel like it gives a lot of character and originality. Uh, it is kind of popular right now. I'm not saying that I invented it, but um, I don't know. I just really, really enjoy it. So that is on a maroon tee again with the gold, which I feel like just screams fall. This one is silver. I did introduce a new color and it says Faith Blooms and it's just like a really pretty dandelion, um, you know, that you blow. And so I don't know. I really, really loved this design concept um, because I definitely feel like it's something that does bloom. Um, it gets stronger and it has its seasons. You know, sometimes you lose it. Sometimes you have really great faith. Um, but I feel like once it's planted, it does. It grows and just gets better with time. If this is too preachy, I swear there's more collections coming. Uh, this one is one of my favorites as well. I feel like they're all my favorites, but this one is just so simple and I feel like the whole collection is called Women of Faith and there's just so much that like goes around with this and I just have such like faith in my faith if that makes sense and I go on faith and so the heartbeat with the faith is like you know you can't go without your heart and I just can't go or live without my faith um, and so made that it's very simple but it's speaks a lot to me and it's again in the silver foil. This one again is kind of like a fun one, um, not necessarily like scripture or serious and it says Jesus is my jam but there's like some really cool detailing in the Jesus part with like some like aztec -y cutouts. This this is the very last one and this one is a little bit more scripture um, 
And I don't think that I wouldn't be comfortable wearing this out just because of the design. So this is from the book of Matthew and it says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Um, and so for me, this is like a reminder and I'm not good with the books of the Bible. Like I couldn't quote and tell you what book is what story and who does what. I'm really not great with the Bible. I'm very guilty of not reading it. <laughs> um, but for me, my like take on that is, um, worldly things kind of like for where your treasure is like if you love things and materials and stuff like that like that's where your heart is but if you love God and your family like that's where your heart is so that's a good reminder for me because I get caught up in it the makeup and the fashion and you know what I mean stuff like that I love all of that but I need to remind myself like that's not everything if that makes sense um, next is the makeup collection <laughs> Um, because I do love makeup so much. This is my makeup lover collection. Um, so the first tea I want to start off with is this one. So it says stress, bless, and makeup obsessed. Um, so I printed this in two different colors. This one is a very amazing holographic color. Um, but I have to tell you that this may not be for everyone. Number one, it is more expensive on my website because the actual vinyl is more expensive in stores. Number two, this is a ton of work. Um, you have to peel it very carefully. You have to press it two different ways. Um, and it is different from a vinyl like the one I'm wearing right now where you just feel the t-shirt. You can feel like some smoothness. This one is a bit more raised. Um, it's a bit more plastic. And plasticky is not the right word. That sounds... <gasps> That doesn't sound right, but it, you can definitely feel that it's there. So I want to forewarn you, but it looks so stinking cool. It is a really, really cool t-shirt. So I just wanted to let you know, this one is a little bit more expensive, but for the rest of the collection, um, I did use rose gold. Um, so this is the other option that you have. Uh, and I don't know, rose gold to me just like screams makeup, <laughs> not makeup, but like beauty. I don't know. I absolutely loved it when I saw the rose gold. And so I did decide to use that for my makeup lover collection. So that is the first tea in rose gold. The next one is a really good one. <laughs> um, it says better late than ugly. And it has like a pair of lashes on the side. Uh, I didn't get that at first, but then I understood that those were lashes. Uh, if you are a makeup person, you tend to run a little bit late sometimes, a lot of the time. Um, and there's there's like so many memes of like guys saying don't get ready until she like sprays her face with that crap or you know what I mean just stuff like that like three hours later um you know it's a process and it's a fun process and we like to take our time but I love that shirt better late than ugly okay um the next one is hilarious it says I work to buy makeup so I can buy makeup. <laughs> I freaking love this one too. Um, again, the rose gold and the black is just super elegant and I don't know, I just love the way it turned out. I absolutely love it, I'm very proud of it. Um, the next one is kind of like basic but classic and it just says winging it with a pair of lashes. It kind of ended up right on the boobs but it's okay, they look like lashes, it's fine. Uh, and then the very last one um, that I have is my absolute favorite in the collection and it says lipstick and coffee can fix everything. Um, I just love the detailing. Again, the mix of the script and the print and then the little banner, like, oh, I love the detailing on this shirt so much. I love this shirt. Probably gonna wear this like mm, every day I'm in Las Vegas, the, <laughs> the day that you're watching this, I'm in Vegas. Um, and then I did create another collection. That's it for makeup. This is like um, all walks of mom. I realized that I like created the mom talk and that's like kind of a sarcastic in your face kind of me giving you the finger <laughs> um, to people that say really stupid stuff to you when you're mom, but I wanted to make like some really fun mom teas. I only created four so far, but I am going to add to actually each collection. Um, I have quite a few more ideas, but I want to see how these go first. These were like the ones that I loved the most. Um, so this one is a maternity shirt and it says falling in love with my bump. And then down on the belly, we do have a little leaf with little footprints. And I absolutely was con like, I knew I was going to make a maternity collection. Um, I want to make a full on collection of like, kind of like mom talk, but like 
maybe I'll call it bump talk, like don't touch my bump or stuff like that. Like I really wish that there were some fun t-shirts like that when I was pregnant last year, um, but I really didn't feel like there were a lot. And if there were, they were really, really expensive, which kind of brings me to my next point. Um, these are printed on the regular t-shirts. Uh, you guys would not believe how expensive um, maternity blank tees are in bulk even. I would have to charge you guys a ridiculous amount that would be the same as like a store in order for me to make a profit and I don't want to do that if I don't have to um, just because I feel like and even though like my basic tees are a little bit more expensive than a store because they're handmade I don't want to go astronomical and be like an expensive handmade boutique you know what I mean so I really didn't want to make a maternity shirt and have to charge $30 for it because that's how much I would have to charge because of the graphic because of the tee like um, so anyways, these are printed on regular t-shirts, so if you're not showing yet, maybe this is like your announcement shirt, maybe this is, um, you know what I mean, just like early months, you just want it for the fall, uh, you would be okay with just doing the one size up like everyone is supposed to do. Um, otherwise, if you're showing um, and you're like in your stretchy pants, your maternity pants, I would go up two sizes for regular sizes. So like if you're a size small, get a size large. Does that make sense? So if you're, but the, I think that the plus sizes are okay. So if you're a 2XL, I would get like a 3XL, just go up one. If you're a 3XL, I think that you'll be okay because the shirts are long, it's gonna extend out, if that makes sense. So if you're like an extra large, get a 3XL. If you're a medium, get a extra large. That makes sense. Okay, so that is the very first maternity shirt. I have one more that is very similar, but maybe for somebody who wants variety. And um, I don't know if you guys saw that this has the silver and gold in it, and then the little gold leaf. This one is all gold, and it says, expecting a little pumpkin. Again, you have a little pumpkin with little feet on the belly. Oh my God! so cute. Um, and again, the mixing of script and type is just so amazing to me. And then I did do two more shirts. The first one is for my moms who have nothing but girls. It says curls, pearls, and mama girls. This one and the next one I'm about to show you uh, are not uh, metallic. They are, this one is with white, and so that way you could see like the pearls and stuff like that. Um, and then this one is really cute. I love this one so much. If I had nothing but boys, I would wear this. So it says Chuck's Toys and Mama Boys. Um, and I have this like really cool matte lime green, and I just felt like that screamed boy mom. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's really cute. Um, and then, you know, if you're like me and you have one of each, I have other mom tees coming, um, but I really wanted to do these because I thought it was fun and different. Um, so that's it. That is my new collection, my Women of Faith, my Makeup Lover collection, and all walks of mom. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. It is live. Um, and thank you so much for watching. It's late in the day, so I have a, a umbrella light, which I haven't been using, and I feel like I look really, really weird and washed out and dark, but anyways, this video has gone on long enough. Um, I will link everything down below, or just my website, so you can look around, um, and don't forget to check out the Halloween and the Mom Talk collection. And I thank you so much for watching. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco. You are watching the Coco channel. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!